In this video, we will give step-by-step -step instructions on how to properly install the Purell CXR Ready Foam Dispensing Fixture. First, if there is a dispenser currently installed, remove the existing dispenser and clean the counter surface of any residue or debris. Then, verify that the existing counter hole is one inch in diameter. If there is no hole in the counter, check below the counter to ensure there is adequate clearance for the new unit. Drill a one inch diameter hole in the countertop. Then, clean the counter area where the new hole is located. Next, remove the nut and washer from the stem. Insert the spout into the counter hole and align the spout to the desired position. From the underside of the counter, place the washer and the nut onto the stem and tighten. Please note, for proper installation, the countertop thickness cannot exceed two and a quarter inch. Use a one and nine thirty-second inch socket tool to ensure secure installation. Next, detach the stem extender from the below deck assembly. Thread the stem extender onto the stem until it stops. Before inserting the fill tube extender, pull the black tube and data cable out of the way. Insert the fill tube extender into the large tube. A small hammer may be used to help insert the fill tube extender. A quarter inch nut driver will also work. The fill tube extender should be flush with the gray stem extender. Next, slide the below deck assembly onto the stem extender. After that, insert the small tube over the pump outlet Insert the yellow fill tube over the reservoir inlet. Complete the data connection. Then, attach the power connector to the battery box or AC adapter. Finally, after a five second delay, the spout indicator light will flash a series of solid red and yellow lights for 15 seconds, signifying a completed installation. To fill, Insert the key in the top of the spout, then slide the spout door forward. Next, remove the dust cap from the soap refill. Then, insert into the spout opening until the refill clicks into place. A second audible click and an orange light indicate that soap is flowing into the dispenser. If the light does not illuminate, adjust the position of the refill until it comes on. To remove the empty refill, Press the refill release button on the back of the spout. Now, push the spout door back into the locked position. The solid light will turn off. Finally, to actuate the dispenser, pass your hand under the spout until you get a full dose of soap. To install the battery box, first, remove the cover from the battery box by loosening the two captive screws on the cover. Position the box on a convenient surface under the counter to allow easy access for battery changing. Attach the box to the surface using the two screws and anchors. Four alkaline D-cell batteries are supplied in the box, ready for installation. The batteries must be positioned according to the diagram shown on the inside of the cover, or the system will not work. Set the battery box into place and tighten the two captive screws. This ends our installation of the Purell CXR Ready Foam Dispensing Fixture. If you have any questions or would like more information, please contact us.